There's an update today, too, on something we talked about Friday at exactly this time. Do you recall in a dim report a guy who went to Taco Bell in Colorado and he argued with the Taco Bell employees. He was upset there was nothing. The drink machine was busted, so he couldn't get a drink for his burritos. And he argued with them, became a bit uh, loud and abusive. And he said, well, I want something for free. So they gave him a fourth oh, yeah. burrito for free. He had ordered three burritos, yep, yep, yep. got a fourth. Well, he ate two of the burritos right then, but he took two home. And when he, hours later, started on that free burrito, he immediately became numb in the lips and the tongue. And he said, something's wrong. So he raced to the emergency room, and they looked at the burrito and said, there's rat poison in this. And there was a, like a gray goop in there. And he is now filing a lawsuit against the Taco Bell. He called the police and said, they put rat poison in my burrito because I made a stink about the drink machine. Well, the Taco Bell folks said, there's no rat poison here. We didn't do that. He made all this up. So we thought, did he or did he not? Well, they've done an investigation now. It's been a few days. This happened a week ago. They've done an investigation. They looked at every piece of video from the Taco Bell and they scoured the entire place, and there is no evidence to show that any rat poison went into that burrito from the Taco Bell. And now the guy who got the rat poison is not taking calls from the police and not returning their calls. So they're mm. thinking he made all that up. Of course. Now there's a, and you call. But he willingly that. ingested it. That's what. <laughs> I mean, you're going but all in. He? You're going to go all in on <laughs> he something. Went to the, he went to the ER, but did they test him for rat poison? Well, they said I he, thought was, that he, they just, he was sick. Maybe they tested his burrito. Well, he said he was sick. He I mean, was sick. Shoving his finger down his throat. He Well, he said he ate the food with it and had that burning sensation in his mouth, and he did vomit. Well, I mean. Well, you can take things to make you puke. He vomited at the emergency room. A lot of people do. <laughs> You've been there. Well, <laughs> I've dropped people off there and then thrown up in the parking lot. Vomited at the emergency room. They found a greenish gray substance into the burrito the man claimed to have bitten into, and the lab test did yeah. confirm it was rat poison. I don't mm. doubt it was in the burrito. Yeah. The Taco Bell shut down for three days while they investigated mm -hmm. everything. But, but the, it's reopened, correct? It has. The Board of Health said it's clean. Yes, and the police said it's clean. They saw, and the, by the way, the guy who made the burrito was on video the entire time doing it, and all it was was the usual stuff they put in Taco Don't you think that's the first thing they would, or one of the first things they'd have done at the ER is take blood or, or saliva sample or something that picks up on, what's rat poison? <laughs> not cyanide. What is it? It's, uh, well, it's not their job that. to investigate. You know? No, but it's their job to, to see if it's in his body mm -hmm. to, so that they can treat it properly. Yeah, to see... Well, I think he took it. I think he ate it. I really do. I That's think he, stupid. I think he took one bite of it and thought, this will make me sick but not kill me, and I'll get a bunch of money out of the Taco mm. Bell, and I'll show them. Wouldn't you think? I think that's what exactly what he did. And so I bet he Got had no it. proof. I bet he had it, but he has... I think it's proven that they didn't put it in there. People, exactly. people really go a long well, way. We said it. I mean, eight, nine times out of ten, it's oh, yeah. people are adding their own crap to these that, foods. That's that exactly right. Yeah. This is kind of a side note, but if you watch football like we do, you probably have seen Taco Bell has got a kind of a new round of commercials. Mm -hmm. The two guys with the drones and the virtual reality yeah. goggles. And there's another one. I think it's like uh, people around a campfire. Talk, I'm not comfortable with Taco Bell's new vision their new direction in their commercials it's extreme close-ups of food going into mouths yeah, i've seen that i've seen that <laughs> i really don't care they for do it. a lot of that you're it's, right it's very 90s isn't yes. it yeah, it kind of is yeah, yeah very right 90s it's very right. quick cut bold yeah. colors but the food is uncomfortably close yeah, to those drones. Mouth almost, yeah. 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 and then there's that woman drizzling yes. <laughs> dragging her chip to the <laughs> mexican pizza yeah there's a lot uncomfortable you're right there's a lot of that <laughs> now uh let's talk about ingesting something this you pay attention to this bb shake and i wanted to share this with you it's from an anonymous p1 and he says i've been watching your show on video feed for a while mm. and i have a warning for bb shay and biggie about something that happened to me because of my poorly groomed facial hair <laughs> <laughs> well i guess we, we can sit this one out <laughs> good he says over Christmas vacation, I really let myself go. <laughs> I was off work for two weeks. I didn't shave for probably 10 to 15 days. And my wife described me as looking like homeless chic for a while. Mm. That was the term she used. I was on vacation, and my hygiene is barely passing at best, so I let it get away from me. New Year's Day, I wake up, I go into the bathroom, I flip on the light, and come into focus in the mirror over the sink. I blinked a few times, and I see that some of the pieces of thread from our comforter are stuck mm -hmm. on my facial hair. I go to grab it and pitch it into the garbage can, when as soon as I touch it, it jumps up and crawls into my mouth. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> it is then that I realize I have just inhaled an enormous spider, and I can feel it crawling around the inside of my mouth and over my tongue and toward my throat. It was moving like crazy, back and forth. Yeah, they go to dark holes. And I thought, and I, thought I am not going to die like this. <laughs> not today. <laughs> it's a new year. That's right. This is the way he started his new year. I coughed and coughed and spit and spat like a madman, jumping around the bathroom. My wife was going, what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Finally, a filthy, large spider flew Ooh. out onto the counter, covered <laughs> in my saliva. <laughs> I bet it was the size of a ping pong ball and fuzzy is what he says. It sat there for a second, then crawled quickly down into the sink and drained. And I hit the faucet and said, die, you mess. Die. <laughs> That's right. Here's the point. B.B. Shea and Biggie have the same facial hair that I have. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, yeah, I'm worried. That, about that's that. a that's a fine <laughs> that's a, tough, a good a tip. Fine that, 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 tip for 2023. That is a good tip. Yeah, as a, a rule to me, <laughs> and you guys feel free to chime in. I think BB Shays is thicker than Big. I do too. Yeah. But he yeah. didn't let it get as thick. No, you you are in and out with beard, yeah, but you've got I a am. pretty good one going now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, pretty good growth here. I'm gonna let it go for a while, see what happens. Well, sometimes you get it really yeah, like a see beard. See if I can get beard. a couple spiders in there. You never know. <laughs> does yeah. that work? Well, I mean, no one who's seen it will ever forget the mayonnaise incident in BB Shays' beard. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's the one that really stands out. It's going to be around your neck forever. <laughs> yeah. That was on your, your podcast where you not only had a lump of mayonnaise land in your beard, a few minutes later, you ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled a, it out, inspected, no, it, it, swallowed. And swallowed it. <laughs> in fairness, it was his mayonnaise. It was. That was yeah. your mayonnaise. It came out of a Wendy's it sandwich. It was a Wendy's sandwich. Was a Wendy's sandwich. I recall that. This is something more about eating and drinking. Fireball is being sued. The uh, whiskey. Wait a minute now. The liquor. I know you're a... Uh, That's our beach drink. That I'm is, alone. That is, a, that is our beach drink. Well, you're, it's smooth. It goes down nice. Yeah. It really does. It's, mm -hmm. it's Some a, people hate it. I love it. It's a good... It bother me. ...product. I like it, too. Now, I don't... I don't know what's in it. I don't drink it much. <laughs> well, it's like rat poison. <laughs> It's, no, it's don't a, say that, Dave. No, sorry. No, I drink it. I know. I, well, we have it on a, on the beach. That's right. Fireball. Uh -oh. Let me talk with Lisa Lanier about this on Friday. Apparently, there is a, the mini bottles that they serve are not real whiskey. The makers of Fireball Whiskey are being sued because it does not actually contain any whiskey in those mini bottles. In states where gas stations and grocery stores can't sell liquor, they've been selling another version of Fireball. We talked about this at the beach because I brought the yeah. bottle. Yeah, the big bottle. And and several of our friends, Kelly, in our little beach group said, you know, I'm seeing it at gas stations now. Well, That's it's right. not. because. Right. In the That's liquor right. store, it says Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. That's right. At the gas station, it says Fireball Cinnamon, which is like a malt beverage. Okay. Well, mm. Which is like beerish. Okay. Normal Fireball is 66 proof. The gas station version is what you just said, malt beverage with whiskey flavoring that's only 33 proof. And customers are saying that they're falsely making you think this is the same thing that you get in the grocery store or the liquor store. Well, I mean, the packaging is awfully similar it, exactly that's where is it saying. next that's to the cash register i think or i've seen it... it there i don't know if they have it in the beer caves or not because mm -hmm. it's, it's the smaller bottles there's yeah. so there's a class action lawsuit going against they might have some fireball whiskey lawsuit. you know me i'm team fireball but th th it does seem a little squirrely it's close it is close the gas station uh versions anybody who bought the mini bottles in 12 different states where they can sell it would get money out of it if they come through with a big. We'll see what Lisa Lanier would you, says. About would it. you raise your hand and say I was duped? <laughs> I'd like some money from Fireball. Well, you know how much I like money. I do. So it's possible, I guess. And I... you're impervious to public shaming. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. The people who were buying or say, I'm not getting drunk enough off this. This is not. <laughs> but you have to raise your hand in court and say that. You, you have to. <laughs> that's exactly right. You have to be the I person mean, to say that. You have to know that whiskey comes from the liquor store. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, but you, in you desperate, desperate times, yeah. after 9 o'clock, after the liquor store closes, but I'll bet people, next best thing. I bet people just think, oh, there it is. They're selling it here. You don't, you're not educated yeah. enough to know that, oh, this is only sold at liquor store. You don't store. think they're trying to pull one over on the, hopefully the, the person selling it to them knows what's going on. I right? think they do. I, I bet. Okay. But I bet that it's just the labeling that is all. But you know, uh, like you can buy vodka in some states in Costco. I've, uh, they have their own. Yeah, brand. yeah. There's yeah, package yeah. stores. It, it all varies there. state by state yeah. for sure. Yeah. So this one, uh, I it's think just suspect to have little 
I mean, anytime something comes in a little airline type liquor bottle, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you got to be a little suspect. You're it, against you? that. You're against it. I don't think it's good practice by, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean, if you're, I don't know who's in charge of that, the yeah. Product Safety Commission or yeah. whoever. Well, I don't know. I think it's bad news. That and those little energy drinks, those are the only other things that come in the small bottles. Fireball's getting some complaints on their customer service line, and they say they're looking into it. <laughs> oh, hey, is Pitbull that... there? <laughs> What's Whoa, that? Pitbull never called me back. You got that number? <laughs> There's a, uh, oh, pass yeah. that number up. <laughs> BB Shea and I saw this. A woman today, they've actually, somebody's put this up on their social media. They took a call. Now, this was an internet service provider that has not been named. But a frustrated caller, and of course these calls are recorded, so upset they weren't able to get their internet. The person who posted this said she literally sounds possessed. She's so mad about her internet. Ma'am, there isn't any reason for me to ma'am. Okay, ma'am. All right. No! Okay. No! Okay, give me. No! Don't say another word to me. No! I'm going to put you on hold, ma'am. No! <laughs> I don't think she wants to be put on hold. I think we've all been there, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> I had the incident last week with our new machines downstairs. That's right. That's right. And when you go to Paytown, when you take a trip to Paytown, oh God. God. <laughs> there's nobody to yell at then. You just have to sit and... I just sit and rage at my machine. <laughs> you can't get there from oh, I've here. I've seen it. Boy, when Paytown asked him for a new password or to count the stoplights or something, and, oh my God, forget about it. He hates that. Chris Dem can't stand it. Now, the other, the turn of events, we heard this about six months ago. This is an old school call. A guy was ordering something out of a newspaper, a computer, but it was the customer service person on the other end that started making fun of him and he got very upset so it's the exact opposite here take over two things my name is robert what can i do for you today yeah i'm calling about the uh uh computer that's on sale it's 9.99 it's on a uh <clears throat> flyer that came in the newspaper mm-hmm. and i'd like to order that one okay let me confirm everything with you we have a painting four processor 520 we hd technology 2.8 gigahertz Okay, DVD player in a in the first bay and a free CD burner in the second base. Okay, and no speakers. Speakers don't come with it. No, sir. It's not in the flyer. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me read it a little bit better, and I'll call back. Why? Thank you got the flyer in, in front of you. Yes. And why you call me? That gets back for me. You call me and call me again, again, again. That's going to going to be back. Because you want I, didn't, I didn't realize that it didn't have speakers, and I don't want to have to order speakers for this price. So I'll just look somewhere else and find me another computer. Oi! <laughs> I can't believe it, all. Like a little girl. I can't believe it, all. Only for speakers. <laughs> Go ahead, little girl. Little pussy girl. Get out of here. Get hey, out of here. Let me talk. Let me get out of here. Get out of here. Let me talk to your manager. Little girl. You are little girl. Little girl. Little girl. Little girl. Little girl. Are you going to let me talk to your manager? <laughs> <laughs> little baby girl. Little hooker. <laughs> 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 